second part of the demo, I'm going to show you how to uh, create an image and place it randomly on the stage. If you remember last part of the demo, we made this uh, app that has two buttons that call two functions, left flower clicked and right flower flicked, or clicked. Okay, so now in our .m file here, the custom button random image view controller, we're going to add a new UI image view. UI image view star, we're going to call it image equals square bracket, square bracket, uh, UI image view allocate, and then we want to init with image, and a new UI image, image name, and our image name is uh, flower one PNG and flower underscore PNG. Oops. Flower one PNG. And bracket, bracket, close it. Okay. Okay, so now we've created our image. Now we want to give it a frame image frame and to give it a frame we have to use a CG rect make and we're going to make our rectangle at zero a y of zero and a width of 50 pixels and a height of 50 pixels all right now we're going to use the random number uh, generator to place the image we'll use center as remember center will place our object at a x and y point on the view and we want to do cg point make and it's asking for an x and a y so we're going to use our random function and do the percent sign which is a uh, the modulus uh, percent uh, 350 that's going to give us a random number between 350 now for y we'll do the same thing random percent 350 so what this line is doing it's getting a, a point from a random y point from 350 to 1 and a random x point from 1 to 350 now we need to place it on the stage to do that self dot view add sub view image and the one remaining thing is we want to remove image from memory. So we go release. Okay. Now let's just test it out and see if that one button worked. And it looks like it did. So let's add the other one. Now since the code is exactly the same for these two things, we can just copy this code for this image and put it down in the right flower clicked. The only thing we need to do is change the name of the image. So the other one is called underscore two. And everything else should work. All right, let's build and run. And there we go. As we click, it's spawning a image of 50 pixels high, 50 pixels uh, wide at a random location on our view, or a random between 1 and 350 pixels. There you go.